Okay, so now we're going to cover using while loops in Python to manipulate strings. And uh, if you have all your stuff here from before, uh, I'm going to actually delete mine. You can create a new file if you want to save uh, this stuff here for your notes. That's totally cool. I understand, but for time and expedience, I'm going to uh, delete mine. So you don't exactly have to do what I do. So we want to understand that we can also use uh, while loops to manipulate strings and uh, the fact that we can sort of custom tailor the way our while loops uh, work a little bit e more easily than we can with the standard for loop uh, makes it even better for us to do stuff like this with strings. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Let's say I want to... Uh, print each letter in a sentence sort of uh, vertically with a while loop. I can come up with a uh, variable called top. And what that's going to hold the value of is the uh, last or the, um, let's say the current index that we are on in the sentence. And I can just create a while loop while top is less than the length of the sentence. So I'm still going, so what I want to do is I want to create a variable called sentence. And I'll set it up as input. Please enter a string. So it can be a sentence or a word or anything. And so I set up a user prompt for that. And then while top is less than the length, of my sentence I'll set up that uh, while loop I'm going to print a sentence at the index top so I'll print each individual letter as I go along and then I'll say top plus equals one so I'm going to add one to top each time the loop runs and I've printed my current index. So if I do that, it'll tell me to enter a string and I'll just say, let's go nah, nah, nah. And you can see it prints it out and I'll drag this up so you can see a little better. You can see that it prints out each individual character on a separate line, including the spaces. So everything gets its own separate line. So I'm just basically printing that vertically. Uh, which is, I guess, kind of cool, but again, not really good enough uh, to give us what we need for the labs, and it's just not cool. So we want to take it a step further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave sentence the way it is for right now, uh, but we are going to create a program that removes uh, the spaces from our sentence. So what I can do is instead of this while loop here, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I don't want any of this. And what I want to do is in my while loop, I'm going to use a new uh, string method called count. And basically what it does is it counts the number of whatever you put in uh, for the parameters. So I'm going to say sentence, sentence is, uh, is my string, and I'm going to use dot count, which is the new func new method, or I'm sorry, new function, and I'm going to look for a space. So basically what this says is search through my entire sentence, uh, find, count all the spaces that you see. So it's going to count the number of spaces that are in my sentence. So what I'm going to say for my while loop, as long as that is greater than zero, I'm going to remove or go through the steps to remove the space from the sentence. Now, there's an, I'm going to, full disclosure, there's an easier way to do what I'm going to ask you to do right now. But what I would ask you to do for this and for the labs is learn how to do it this way because I promise you, and you'll have to trust me on this, that you will use what I'm teaching you later for something very important. So let's stick with this. We're going to say as long as the count of spaces in my sentence is greater than zero, I'm going to go through the next step 
to remove the next space from the uh, sentence. So what this while loop is going to do is remove each space from the sentence one by one, uh, removing one uh, space each time the loop runs. So the way I do that is I can't really remove stuff from strings. This doesn't really work that way in most programming languages. A lot of the object-oriented programming languages like C and Java, you can't really uh, remove anything directly from a sentence. But what you can do is uh, you can set the sentence or you can set the string equal to itself. And it's going to be a substring of itself. So we're going to use slicing. And uh, the substring is from 0 to sentence dot index and we're going to do space so this searches for the index of the first uh, space that it sees and it's going to return uh, it's going to set sentence equal to uh, the substring of itself from zero uh, to just before the first space. So what we're doing here is we're going to also add on to that sentence dot substring or dot uh, substring uh, from sentence index and I'm going to stretch this out so you can see it and I'll go into super amount of detail on what all this stuff means in a second as well. So I'm going to use the space uh, plus one all the way to the end of sentence. So I know we need to go over that, so I'm going to go over it again with you. So basically, I'm taking, in a nutshell, if I want to remove all the spaces uh, from my sentence, I'm going to have to set this uh, value for sentence equal to a substring of itself from zero to just before where the space is, plus the part of the sentence after where the space is. So let's go over that again. I'm setting sentence equal to the part of sentence before the space plus the part of the sentence after the space and I'm eliminating the space that is in between. And that's going to happen one by one for each space each time the loop runs. So if you look here, I'm starting at zero. My slice goes all the way to uh, sentence dot index of space, but it's going to be one less because we know the top of our ranges are exclusive. Then I'm going to uh, do sentence dot index. Uh, so I'm doing the slice of sentence from the index of the space plus one. So I'm going to, I'm skipping over the space and going to the next index. And I'm going from there all the way to the end of the sentence. And that's how that gets set up. So once that's done, I can print. Let's just say I can print the sentence without spaces. So then I will add. Yeah, I can add that there since it is uh, not a number and so if I do this I'm going to enter a string and I'll just do nah 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 and you see I have spaces there and I put index somewhere instead of index so let's try that one more time and we'll put in I'll drag this up so we can see it and I'll say nah 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 so good news is my logic seems to be right, but I'm spelling a bunch of stuff wrong. Sentence. And let's try again. Nah, nah, nah. And you can see that's supposed to say actually without spaces, 
So spaces have been removed. And I can pretty much do that for anything. So like I said, for sure there's an easier way to do this in Python and you'll find it with just a little bit of searching. But again, on the labs and uh, while you're following along with me, I'm going to expect you to uh, do it this way for right now because one, it only exists, that method only exists in Python and uh, a lot of the other languages do not have it, especially when it comes to strings. Uh, and it will lead to things that we're going to use for more imp important uh, functions later.